It's okay, that's love. Best-selling author and radio DJ Jang Jae-yol suffers from OCD, owing to unresolved childhood trauma. He meets Ji hae Su, a psychiatrist who is in her first year of fellowship. Their strong personalities initially clash with each other until they slowly start developing a relationship. But soon, they discover that Jang Jae-yol's mental health is in an even worse condition than they believed. The show deals with mental health very sensitively and shows the relationship between the two leads in a heartwarmingly real way. Live up to your name. If you love medical dramas and stories of time travel, then this is definitely your cup of tea. Hyo Im is a doctor in the Joseon era and specializes in traditional Korean medicine. His expertise with acupuncture gains him notoriety, even grabbing the eye of the king who wants treatment for his migraines. A misunderstanding lands Hyo Im in trouble and, due to some inexplicable reason, he finds himself transported to modern-day Korea while running away from the king's soldiers. Here, he runs into Choi Yun Kyong, a cardiothoracic surgeon who is extremely practical and only believes in modern science. The two doctors from different eras begin working together and discover that there's a lot that they can learn from each other. Mystic Pop-Up Bar. Based on a popular webtoon, this one revolves around the titular mysterious pop-up bar that is run by three people with superhuman abilities. There's Wee Old Jew, an ill-tempered ghost who was condemned to cure 100,000 souls to atone for her sins. Hung Kang Bei, a human who has the ability to make people reveal their secrets just by touching them, and Chief Wee, a former afterlife detective with a secret of his own. The pop-up bar is a space where people, both dead and alive, can come to get their conflicts sorted through their dreams. A warm and funny show, this is perfect for watching when you're feeling down. When my love blooms. If you love second chance romances, then this is perfect for you. Han Jae-hyun is a successful businessman who is ambitious for more wealth and success. We're shown how different he has become from his 20-something-year-old self when he used to be passionate about social causes and was in love with Yoon Ji-soo. He gets a chance to re-evaluate his life when he meets her once again, after a long time since they parted ways in college. Now, Yoon Ji-soo is a single mother and a contract worker who doesn't have it easy. 진심으로 사죄드립니다. 이게 지는 편은 늘 외롭고 서럽잖아. 몇 번을 싸워도 맨날 지는 사람들 편. 지는 편. Weightlifting fairy Kim Bok Ju, despite not receiving high ratings. This show gained popularity amongst a younger audience that resonated with its themes of friendship, love and coming of age. Naturally gifted weightlifter Kim Bok Ju wants to pursue her dreams of weightlifting in college. Her childhood best friend Yung Jun Hyung is a talented swimmer who is dealing with demons of his own. The story follows their lives as they chase their ambitions.
fight for my way. Four friends tackle each day as it comes, and work towards their different goals despite being told that they don't have what it takes. Ko Dong Man is a former taekwondo player but, because of certain circumstances, has become a contract MMA fighter. Choi Air Ra works at a departmental store's information desk but dreams of becoming a television anchor. Then there are Kim Hoo Man and Bak Sul Hee who have been in a relationship with each other for the past six years but now face unforeseen obstacles. Sung Gyun Scandal. Another drama set in the Joseon era that talks about gender inequality, Sung Gyun Scandal is more comedic than dramatic. Kim Yoon Hee has to disguise herself as her brother to get jobs that can support her family, as women were not allowed to be educated or employed at the time. A sort of illegal but lucrative chance to earn a lot of money lands her in trouble with Lee Sun Jun, an uptight student who believes she is a man, and encourages her to enroll in the university to hone her talents. We get to see Kim Yoon Hee's struggles in hiding her true identity from her new classmates and her adventures in the university, all while she's trying to control her growing romantic feelings Here, for Lee Sun Jun. 여기가 어딥니까? 시전 행수 송용태의 집. 진범이 시전 행수의 집에 숨어 있단 말이지. 관원들이 깨부신 난전의 Boys Over Flowers, widely considered as one of the best Korean dramas of all time. This one is based on a Japanese manga series of the same name. Gum Jan D belongs to a poor family but gets a chance to attend an elite private high school. There she crosses paths with a group of four rich and good-looking boys who are the most popular kids in school. After an initial clash, the five of them become close friends, with occasional bumps along the way. Rookie historian Gu Hei Ryun. Set in the early 19th century, the story revolves around the titular rookie historian. She is an unmarried 26-year-old who gets a job as an intern to become the palace historian. Her marital status and career ambitions are both unusual for the time and therefore create quite a stir in the society. But she has no time for gender stereotypes and restrictions based on social class. She meets Yi Rim, a hopeless romantic and a secret romance novelist, and after getting off on the wrong foot, the two start becoming friends. But Yi Rim is actually hiding his identity and is really the crown prince in disguise. Will Gu Hei Ryung manage to overcome all the obstacles her gender and class throws in front of her? Will her relationship with Yi Rim last once she figures out his secret? You'll find out. Hospital Playlist. This one quickly became one of the top 10 highest rated Korean dramas in cable television history. Just like the Reply series, Hospital Playlist is a slice of life drama about the lives of five friends who have been together since medical school, and are now working in the same hospital. After a long day of working with patients and their families, they get together to unwind by playing their favorite songs as a band. The show has been created by the people behind the Reply series and Prison Playbook, so you can expect to see some of the cast members from those works make a cameo. Mm -hmm. 
사람 최고인데. 얘는 참. 죄송합니다. 아주 명의들 낳는 명의. 어? 왜좀 더리수가? 엄마가 너좀 바꿔. 아, 네, 어머니. 친아들과 달리 활달하고 밝은 양아들 익준이에요. 이 새끼는 공과 때도 맨날 나이트에 살았거든. 실습을 하든 시험을 보든 익준이가 항상 1등이야. 그걸 요즘. 의사들이 왜 장담할 수 없습니다. 아직 모릅니다. 더 지켜봐야 합니다. 이렇게 애매한 말만 하죠. It's okay to not be okay. This critically acclaimed drama has occupied the top trending position on Netflix ever since it premiered in July this year. The show has been lauded for subverting the representation of mental health and psychiatric health facilities in popular culture. Moon Gang Tae is a caregiver who moves from town to town with his autistic elder brother, and works at the local psychiatric facility to help his brother and other patients. The psychiatric ward that he works at is sunny, bright, and filled with practitioners who care about the patients. Then there is Ko Moon Young, a popular children's book author who is afflicted with an antisocial personality disorder. When the two meet, they realize that they can help each other heal, and discover that they have a connection with each other because of their intertwined pasts. <laughs> Reply 1988. This is the third installment in the widely loved anthology series, Reply. The show revolves around a group of friends and chronicles their life and friendship. Each installment covers a different era, like Reply 1997 covers the life of people in, well, 1997. Reply 1988 follows the lives of five friends and their families who live in the same neighborhood in northern Seoul in the year 1988. They've been friends since childhood and help each other out through thick and thin. This is one of those series that you can re-watch multiple times to feel the same amount of catharsis. Let us know in the comment section how you find this video. Please subscribe our channel and do like the video.